Is your K40 CO2 laser on the level? Probably not. What am I talking about? Let's jump into this and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to talk to you about the carriage inside your uh, eBay K40 laser. So this is basically what it looks like for the most part when you take it out of the chassis. Now, one of the problems with this uh, is alignment on these eBay K40s. What am I talking about? Well, basically what you have is inside the K40, obviously the laser tube sits back here, or the first order mirror that shoots back here. Now, one of the big problems with the K40 is there's no inner skeleton. It depends upon the sheet metal in order to provide its alignment. That's a huge problem because as this moves back and forth and the head moves back and forth, the entire laser train needs to stay in perfect alignment. And that's very difficult because if this isn't in alignment with the first order mirror, you know, or if this is running downhill, what's going to happen as it moves out and the beam uh, attempts to uh, contact the second order mirror, it's going to move out of range or be attenuated. So this is a problem. Another problem, and, and actually the one I really want to talk about today is this one, is as the head moves away from the second order mirror here, what happens is the beam moves out of range of the laser head here. Now, how do you know this? Well, here I'm going to show you. So I'm going to take these calibers and I'm going to turn them on. So what I'm going to do is measure, use these calibers, use the end of the calibers, to measure this. So I'm going to go from this plate to the top of this beam and I'm going to set that. And notice I got about 37 millimeters there. So let's check this end. Do it there. Now see I've got 39. So I'm a good two millimeters higher. So as the head moves this way, again it moves up two millimeters and moves the laser beam out of the range. That's one of the things very difficult to get uh, these eBay K40 lasers really dialed in, and it's, it's a relatively big project. Let's look at what's in here. So hopefully you can see there's a wheel here that actually rolls on top of this, which is actually wearing a little bit, and then it's adjusted by these kind of crappy screws. So you have this screw here to raise or lower this X gantry, as it uh, runs from the far side to this side. And so that needs to be adjusted. One of the things that I'm going to do is actually take this all apart and reset some of these, because these are some pretty cheap screws. And you notice also there's a screw missing on the retainer that retains the belt on the other side. So you have this, hopefully I'm getting it in, uh, you have this retainer and you can see how this wobbles because the screw is missing. So I'm going to go ahead and take this all apart and actually fix all these pieces. I'm not going to show that on camera, but one of the things I want to do is really kind of share with you guys. If you have one of these and you're becoming very frustrated with it, it's not uncommon. Because again, these things are very crudely manufactured. For the most part, they're actually designed to create rubber stamps for the bureaucracy in China. And then somebody got the idea, you know, why not sell them to us in the U.S. to kind of hack. Which is cool because you get a laser relatively cheaply. But there's a lot of work in cleaning this up. So it's very difficult to really take a stock K40 and have it work out of the box, um, you know, in a productive manner for this big of an area. You know, because again, if you just have the small area here, you can really dial this in because you're not going to have much movement. But if you take a movement from here to here and it's two millimeters, it will be well outside of the range of this, you know, in intersecting this uh, head. So hopefully you've gained a little bit more understanding about the mechanisms of the eBay K40. Um, again, a lot of fun to mess with if you have the time and want to do it. It's a great piece, but again, I'm going to take this all apart, redo this, put new bolts in, um, and also new adjustments here for this so I can really true this up level so I can get the full range. So hopefully you found it interesting. If you did, hey, give it a big thumbs up, swag shop up there, subscribe over there, hit me up in the comments below if you got questions, and we'll catch you in the next video. We hopefully do something else cool with this guy. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel. Oh, no, 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 no,
projects.